step we're going to make the button work so that we can accept text from the user and compare it to the string of our correct guest answer. So we're going to add a few new variables. We're adding guess, which is a string, guess letter, which is a string, and correct guess, which is a boolean, a true false value. And if you'll scroll down below what we've programmed before, we're going to add in an event listener and a function. Now this will not make everything work, but there's a couple more steps, but it will accept a letter from the user it will convert that letter to a capital so that we can compare them identically and it will um, give us a true false trait statement to see if it's matching. It won't display the letter on the screen yet. So this is our event listener. This dot guess button, that's the name of the blue button on the screen, add event listener, mouse event click. If we click on the blue button, the play me function will run. Here's my play me function. It's accepting an event, a click event, and it returns nothing, so the return statement is void. Before we can compare the letter that the user guesses to the letter that we have in our array, please notice every letter in our array is a capital. A lowercase a and an uppercase a will not evaluate as being equal, so we need to change whatever the user inputs to being uppercase. If it's already uppercase, it won't do anything but it will switch a lowercase letter. So that's our guest letter that we've received from the user. And this dot letter in underscore txt, this is the name of the text field. We name that in our properties area. You can see this text field is named letter in underscore txt. Here we have the letter in underscore txt, the property, the text property of that text field is actually what the user input. And we're going to convert whatever they put in to uppercase and it will be stored in the variable guest letter. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through a loop which will let us compare the letter that was guessed against each letter in the word that we're working on, the in progress word. So what we're going to check is if in progress the character at i, which is the increment letter that we're using, is equal to, and two equals is a comparison operator to see if they're the same. If it's equal to guess letter, then we're going to trace true. We're also going to have my display i equal guess letter, but since we're not redisplaying that, it won't show on the screen yet, we're going to set correct guess equal to true, and we're going to have right count increment by one. We will eventually detect the win by when they have by determining if they've guessed enough correct letters. So let's test it at this point. You'll see from the previous step it's displaying how many letters there are available as underscores. I can type in a letter and it's true. Now nothing changes here yet because that's in the next step. But so far everything's working.